Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio sliding sort of computer screen effect thing, sort of like this, in Show It 5. Okay, so before we start, I'm going to be using the um, like PNG, a transparent computer sort of screen. I'm using this one, which is just a basic outline of a computer screen. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you wanted to download this and use it yourself. Otherwise, you can get them from the likes of Pixaden free of charge. So um, if you want to get a different one, just head over to them and, and pick one up. Okay, so the next thing I need is some screenshots of websites that we're going to scroll through. So I've got some tabs from Show It's website open here. It seems only right that we use Show It since we're doing a Show It tutorial. I'm going to resize this screen using this screen resizer. If you didn't see it, I did a video um, last week, I think it was, with five useful browser extensions for website designers. So if you haven't, check that video out as well. Um, but I'm going to just resize this screen to roughly 1920 by 1080. And then just drag it up from the bottom. Okay, then I'm going to be using Nimbus Screenshot Thing Screen Recorder, Screenshot Recorder Thing <laughs> um, to take the screenshot. So if we just turn that one off and then we just want to get the visible part of the page. And then I'm going to do this for the other three pages as well. Okay, so there we go. We've got our screenshots that we wanted now. I'm just going to drag this window out a bit. And then head back over to show it. And then under the site tab, I'm just going to come to the media library and then I want to drag, click and drag to select all these images and then I'm just going to drop them in there. There we go. Wait for them to upload. Okay, there we go. Images uploaded now. Just shut that down. Right, next thing we need to do is to add a gallery. So to do this, we come down to add an element at the bottom and we just want to add a gallery. And then make sure it's selected. We want to come over to gallery images, manage images, and then we want to select our three screenshots. Drag them over. Boom, drop them in. Hit save. And there we go, they eventually start showing up on the screen. Okay, so next we need to put the computer over it. So to do that, we come to Media Library, select our screen, and then add to page. And then there we go, that's overlaying our images. Next thing we need to do is if we come over to the Page tab, select our gallery, and then we just want to resize this. I'm going to leave a little bit over the edges just to make sure that there's no... The opposite of clipping, where it's showing other images that it shouldn't be showing, other bits of the images that it shouldn't be showing. Okay, there we go. Make sure our gallery is still selected from the left-hand side, and we want to come to Gallery Settings. And then we want to go to Slide and Gallery. I'm going to set Auto Advance to about two and a half seconds. You can set this to whatever you wanted. So and a half, make sure loop images is selected. And that's pretty much good to go. Obviously, we can come across to mobile and then we can adjust it all on the mobile site as well. But if we go to preview, when it loads up, there we go. There's our sliding portfolio sort of thing that we've got going on. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave us a thumbs up. If you're not already, please do subscribe for more tutorials and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. See ya.